Let's continue to work through all the available equipment that you need to have a successful and safe prescribed burn in your timber. Iowa State University Extension and Outreach has put together a free downloadable publication that you can print off that showcases all of the available hand tools out there on the market. So they make other tools that are very handy on the fire line. This is more specialized. This is called a flapper and the name is not appropriate. You're not going to be slapping the fire because what you'll do is you'll spread burning embers. What you're going to do is you're going to drag this over the burning areas that you want to put out. This flapper is used to smother the fire. In a lot of cases you spray it down, keep it a little bit moist, and it will smother the fire because it's cutting off the oxygen. So this is a more specialized tool. You're not going to find it in your local farm store. You're going to have to look at a, a forestry equipment supplier. They're available online uh, and throughout the country there are various suppliers that make these and they're really handy. But they're a single use. They're to put fire out. It's also critical to have a tool that can put water where you need it. And this is another one of those very specific to wildland firefighting to prescribed fire. It is a backpack pump. It's a chamber that will fill with three to four gallons of water and it can deliver that through this piston pump. All right, You have to have water when you're burning. When we burn in timbers we use very little water if you have planned the burn correctly, have the wind in your favor, have large fire breaks. You shouldn't need to carry a lot of water. You need some for safety reasons. It's best if you have to dump the water out at the end of the day rather than use it. The more water you've used, it means you're right on the borderline of having a safe burn day. If you don't want to go out and buy a very specific water backpack pump, you can just use your backpack sprayers for herbicide. Make sure you clean them out, rinse them out three or four times, and make sure they're in good working order. But a three to five gallon backpack pump for, for spraying herbicides will work well filled with water on a fire line. You need a reserve tank of water as well. Uh, we always carry 60 to 100 gallons when we're burning in the timber. If it's a small burn, if it's a larger burn, we may carry more water. So have a tank of water available. So with that, with all of these different equipment options, make sure that every personnel that you have on the fire line knows how to use them. Make sure your equipment is in good working order and replace it if it isn't. With that, you're going to have a safe and productive burn. State University Extension and Outreach has put together a free downloadable publication that goes into detail on specific invasive plants that can be controlled with fire. It will detail when to burn, when not to burn, and how to burn to control those individual invasive plants.